Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another lecture of the Home Care Assistant Program. And uh, today we are going to continue our lecture on drafts. We're going to continue our lecture on drafts. We've looked at drafts, and I hope you are uh, following and uh, hope that by the end of this lecture you get to know more about drafts. My name is Mr. Sando Mensa. I'm your lecturer for today. So let's look at, so we started a prescription in our last lecture and we talked about the fact that a prescription has uh, 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 a, pre a prescription tell us a lot of things about drafts. So we've, we've, we got to know that we use tap paracetamol, uh, 1000 milligram PO, CDS or CID times 48 hours and we got to know that the first Thing, that the tap shows the formulation but the next one the paracetamol is the name of the drug so uh, the name of the drug tells the type of drug being prescribed for the patient we always have to find the name of the drug in a prescription if not it's not a good prescription so as we have already said in our previous leg uh, in our previous lectures we said that generic names are normally used in prescription but at times trade names are also used to get a particular manufacturer's brand and also to attain certain drug combinations so i have talked about that so examples of some trade names commonly used in prescription include uh, we have buscopan it's a it's a brand name you have a name like uh, uh, the real name of the drug or the gen generic name is hyosin butabruma we have a drug like cipro let's tease it it's actually two drugs combined together we have ciprofloxacin and we have cenidazole combined together. At times, to save the hazard of going to write ciprofloxacin, 500 milligram plus uh, cenidazole, this milligram, you can just write the brand name. A drug like Cytotec is very common and common use, but the, it's a brand name. The generic name is Mysoprostol. So you can have another Mysoprostol, which is not called uh, Cytotec. We have another drug like Doretta, which contains pa tramadol and paracetamol. We have a drug like Nezio, which is actually a brand name, and it, the real or the generic name is Isomiprazole. Another Panadol, if uh, someone prescribes Panadol, the person is actually prescribing paracetamol. We have Valium, and uh, the generic name is Diazepam. Let's quickly move to the amount of drug. The amount is actually the strength of the drug to be served at a time. The strength of the drug that you are supposed to serve at the time and uh, it actually tells tell you the amount per dose or simply the dose it's also referred to as the dose the amount of drug as the strength of the dose so for instance patient is to take thousand milligram the prescription that we uh, we talked about in our previous lecture tap uh, paracetamol thousand milligram uh, po cds times 48 hours that actually means that the doctor is saying that give 1000 mg of paracetamol at 6, 1000 mg of paracetamol at 2, and 1000 mg of paracetamol at 10 o'clock p.m. in the day. The dose actually, the dose of this prescription is 1000 mg because the patient takes 1000 mg at a time. So that's the dose. The dose, the dose, please remember it's the dose. So when the, the doctor writes, uh, 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 Ciprofloxacin, tap ciprofloxacin, 500 milligram. Then it means that say 500 milligram. So at times on the on the medication wrapper, they will tell you that oh, uh, each tablet contains 500 milligram. So if they write that, meaning that you have to serve, uh, if the doctor is asking you to serve 500 milligram, and the wrapper is saying each tablet contains 500 milligram, automatically says that give uh, one tablet. In some prescription, the doses may differ depending on the time the drug is supposed to be taken. So, a uh, drug like uh, the right capsule amosacillin, 750 mg stat. Stat is an abbreviation. It means that give immediately, then that's 6 o'clock, then 500 mg 2 o'clock p.m., then 500 mg 2 o'clock p.m., and 10 o'clock p.m. This is uh, a prescription. Capsule amosacillin, 750 mg stat then 500 mg 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock this actually means that give amosacillin 
750 milligram there and there then when it's two o'clock give 500 milligram and when it's 10 o'clock give another 500 milligram uh, use of brand name sometimes when the brand name is used we prefer to uh, name uh, give the dose in tablet so the doctor will write tap the red tag uh, tt tt means that give two tablets when you, you write one t means that give only one tablet so tap the red tag tt dd times five over seven so the t is actually telling you the number of tablets that you are supposed to give at times it is normally used when brand names are used so uh this give further explanation t one tablet tt two tablets tt three tablets measurement of the dose so uh we realized that they were the every dose normally mostly comes with a, a unit attached to it at times it's milligram at times it is microgram at times it's even in mills means that mill, milliliters so so uh what you have to note you have to always look at the um, uh, the strength or the uh, the unit attached to um, a drug is very very uh, important for instance the prescription under cap amosacillus 0.75 gram g means gram starts then 500 milligram cid times three days the gram you may think that 0.75 ah uh, it's very very small but actually gram is uh, uh, is bigger or higher than milligram and when you are changing this one to milligram it's going to give you 750 milligrams which that's where you get to see that it is actually even a higher dose than the second one so you always have to look for the look at the unit that is being said uh, i'm not sure that as a home care nurse you may be coming across but it's good for you to know that uh grams are also uh, sorry the units are also very very important the units are also very very important we teach you how to probably convert them or work around them when we come for the practical so when you want to change it so one gram is equal to thousand milligram one milligram is equal to thousand microgram one gram is going to thousand microgram then one liter is going to thousand mils you play around it when we come for the practical session let's look at the roots of drug administration roots of drug administration we talk about it and let's talk about this again so this is the path through which drug is introduced into the body drug is normally uh, introduced in the body through the aura means that's po po means per aura then pr means per rectum iv means intravenous i means intramuscular and sc or sq means subcutaneous so these are some of the roots of drug administration and sometimes the roots of drug administration is determined by the formulation of the drug at times the doctor can write a prescription but how the nature of the drug will tell you that oh this drug will have to be given uh aura for instance if the doctor writes a uh, syrup drug self syrup drug i'm not sure i'm going to pull it in an injection and give the patient syrup drugs are only given orally so uh that's what i mean by the formulation can tell you the root of the of drug administration let's look at time interval how often the drug is supposed to be given and it's always found in the uh, prescription and usually when it is written it it is telling you how often it's supposed to be given in a day how often it's supposed to be given in a day so when you see dly or once it means once daily so the drug should be given once a day when you see bd or bid it means two times in a day so it means that the drug should be given every 12 hours when you see TID or TDS, it means three times in a day. It means that the drug should be given every eight hours. Meaning, if you give the drug at six, the next dose should be given at uh, after eight hours. So from six, we count seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, one, two. So the next dose will be due at two. The next dose after two will be after eight hours. That will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That will be at ten. Most commonly, when you go to the hospital and they tell you that you have to take the drug three times a day, you go like, oh, it is morning, afternoon, and evening. When he's taking his breakfast, he will take. 
At times they will take their breakfast at uh, at eight o'clock and they will take the draft. Then when they are taking their lunch at let's say one o'clock, they will take the draft. And when they are taking their supper at uh, five o'clock, they or six o'clock, they take the draft. This is so 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 wrong. When drafts are supposed to be taken on time and normally we use hours. For instance, when they tell you that take the drug twice a day, it means that every 12 hours. So if you take the drug at 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning, the next one should be given at 7 p.m. Because that will be after 12 hours. So 7 a.m. if you want to know the next one, they say 12 hours. So you count 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it is 7 a.m. in the morning to be given at 7 p.m. in the uh, uh, evening. Then the next one will also go to 7 a.m. in the morning. And if let's go to the KYD, KYD means that four times a day, meaning every six hours. So if you are given a drug and you are said you are told to take it every uh, four times a day, meaning or every six hours, then meaning uh, you have to take it after every six hours. So you take the first one at six o'clock a.m. The next one will be at twelve. The next one twelve p.m. The next one will be at after the 12 it will also be at 6 pm the next one after the 6 pm will be at 12 am let's note this very very well and so that drugs will, will be taken on time prn prn means when necessary at time there will be a drug and they will tell you that it's prn that is when necessary given when there is the need for it given when there's the need for it and then there could be a parent they will tell you that, oh when the person is in pain give it and you should not abuse it that means that give the drug immediately. Serve the drug immediately to prescribe. Not the means that give the drug only at night. So uh, one of the drugs, a drug like atuvastat and they would for cholesterol and normally written nocte. They will tell you that give it nocte means that give the drug at night. And main, main means in the morning. So some drugs are only given in the morning. So when you see main, it means that give the drug in the morning. Let's look at treatment duration. This is the period of time that the drug needs to be taken or set. This is the period of time that the drug needs to be taken or set. And it is the length of time at which a treatment or a medication needs to be completed. And they can be expressed in several forms. They can, every drug has the time that it's supposed to be taken. There's no drug that you have to take it forever and ever. So, even if it is a drug you are going to be on, no doctor will write for a prescription that will mean that you should take the drug forever and ever. At times they will tell you take it for 30 days. After that, come and see me. Let me see whether I will put you on the drug again. That is why it is not advisable that even when uh, a drug is being repeated, you start going to the pharmacy to claim the drug or buy it yourself. At times they all have to monitor for some side effects. Some drug may have long term side effects, and that is what the doctor may want to look at. So please and please and please and please and please and please again, do not be restocking your drugs by yourself. So we have some here. When they say 24 hours, I was in for hours is going to one day. 36 hours is going to one and a half days. So if a prescription is written and it's 36 hours, it actually means one and a half days. 48 hours means two days. 72 hours means three days. One D or one DA means one day. Or one over seven, it means one day. Two D or two DA or two over seven means two days. Three, four over seven means four days. Six over seven means four Six days or six days. Six days. It means six days. When it's in weeks, two over fifty-two means two weeks. Six over fifty-two means six weeks. When it's in months, three over twelve means three months, and six over twelve means six months. Explanation. You can pause the video for the explanation. Uh, that uh, is given or I've written at the uh, right side. So this brings us to the end of the, our lecture on drugs. I hope you've understood some uh, uh, a lot uh, the lecture and you now know quite uh, uh, a bit about drugs. Your questions are very well welcome. Thank you and have a nice day.